Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa. I have a new project to share today. I'm using a set of SVG files that I've designed to make an expandable recipe folder. I often make my projects as PDF printable templates as well, but I haven't done in this instance because there is this little pocket page here that has these little um, slip pockets which I thought would be a bit difficult to cut out repetitively by hand. However, if there is enough interest, I might um, include uh, or make a PDF printable template version. So <clears throat> this is a scalable vector graphic file. Um, the blue pieces here I'm cutting out of cardstock and there's some blue pieces under all of these pink pieces as well that are slightly bigger and I'm cutting those out of um, cardstock as well. And then the pink pieces on top um, I'm cutting out of scrapbook paper and they're my mats. So the um, cardstock that I'm using is 176 GSM or 67 pounds, that's what I always use. And there are some lots of pieces in here that have score lines um, on them and if you're using a, um, an electronic cutting machine you'll need to change those lines from cut lines to score lines and, at and attach them to the piece before you start. Otherwise it will snip everything off where the lines are and you don't want to do that. So um, I've got lots of videos on how to do that. Not for this project but it's the same for all the projects. So I'll try and remember to link one below. Otherwise just have a look on some of my playlists and you're bound to find one. Okay, so these are all the pieces and I'm going to start by making my cover. So I have cut out some pieces in preparation. I've cut out this spine piece and I've cut out two of those. And I've cut these out of craft colored cardstock. That is the same, um, it's about 176 GSM. And um, my Cricut has done my score lines for me, so I've just folded all of those score lines and then inked them. And I really like to sew around the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. It's really early in the morning. <laughs> I haven't talked yet. <laughs> um, I really like to sew around the edges. Um, I just think it looks really nice and finished. But that's, you know, just my choice. So I've cut out two of those. Then for the cover, I have there's a blue piece under there which you can barely see, but I have cut that out of a piece of um, cardboard. Now it's not even particularly thick weight. It's actually just the back of um, a scrap or the front of a scrapbook paper pack. So you know it's it's not really that strong, but it's perfect for what we're going to do. And then the pink piece on top, I've cut out one of those out of my scrapbook paper. And that's this piece here. And then I also have a piece of paper that I'm going to wrap around it. So I've, I've printed that out and cut that out. Well, I haven't cut it out, I've just printed it out. And I need two of the covers and I've already made one. So this is one of the covers. Now this line in here is because I need to clean my clean my printer heads. Of course I'd already printed it out. You can see it there, but you know, I'll work around that. I'm hoping that it won't be too noticeable once it's all together. And this is most noticeable on that black line, so I could probably, you know, just colour in that black line. Okay, so this is all I need to make the cover. Oh, I should also mention that this paper that I'm using, it's called a pinch and a dash, and it's a scrapbook bundle kit that I bought off Etsy. And I, it was from someone, oh, I can't remember, I think it was JSS Scrap Boutique, but I'm going to put a link below because it's a fabulous, fabulous kit. There is you know, lots of little pieces of ephemera that I can cut out and use to embellish it when I'm done. And there are so many um, different um, paper, um, paper designs, but I really love the wood ones. So I've been cutting out all the bits out of wood. Anyway, this is all I need for my cover. So let's get on with that. So I am just going to take my piece of um, scrapbook cover and I'm just going to lay it down and cover this like we usually do. So I'm going to use 
some glue stick because sometimes when I use other glue you can sort of see the the raised edges of the glue <clears throat> so I'm just putting some glue all the way around here I mean you cover it the way you like to do it but I do like to use the glue stick for this bit <clears throat> so then I'm just going to plonk it down on here and plonk it down about there Hopefully it's pretty straight. We don't want we don't want our um, wood grain to be too, too wonky. And then I'm going to grab the bone folder and just give it a good press. Like so. And then I'm just going to trim this bit off the edge because I don't need this much um, down here. Just do these little corners you know we've done this a hundred times it's just like wrapping a book a book cover you know when you're in school or your kids are in school I don't know do you do that anymore it's been a while since my son's been in school um, but I, at the beginning of school year or at the beginning of term you'd have to cover all the books with clear contact or something like that Had a lot of practice with them um, with the contact and um, you know always managed to make a mess of it <clears throat> and the air bubbles and all of that okay so I'm just going to bend all of that over and give it a bit of a Wash it all, make sure that it's nicely um, flat for when we get to the gluing bit. There we go. Now, I think I will use, oh, I might use this, but I'm going to put it along the edge here because um, otherwise I'm going to end up with it on my desk, which I don't really want. <clears throat> oh, I've got a really croaky throat. So it's super early in the morning and my um, other half is asleep and I should be <laughs> but you know when you wake up and you just can't get back to sleep and you start thinking about things and it's you know nothing nothing urgent or important but then but you're awake enough that you start thinking and then you think there's absolutely no way I'm going to be going back to sleep now I might as well just get up so here I am in my favourite place. <laughs> I can always have a nap this afternoon if I need to. It's Sunday, so that's nice. Work again tomorrow though. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this little guy on here for our, to cover off that inside. I think I want to um, ink around a little bit. So I'm just gonna quickly get out my, my inking business here. Have I already inked that? Did I ink this one? I think I did. All right, let's have some consistency. around here okay and then I'm just gonna put some glue on here and I might use this glue if I can open it is it gonna come out yes I'll just put some glue on this mat and pop it down so the cover for this is really optional and up to you you don't have to make a cover you could just do um, or you don't have to make a cover like this 
You could just use um, a cover and um, use album rings and not use the spine at all. Um, you could just put the pages into um, a file with, you know, a ring file, ring bound file. What do you call those? Don't know. Right, I'm just going to get this on here. Have a look at that. I think that'll be fine. I'm just going to squash that down. Make sure the edges are well adhered. Okay, so there's a cover, and I looks like I've inked this cover edge up so I'll just do the same here I haven't inked anything else in here but I did do the cover and the other thing that I will do is I'm going to give this a spray with um, an acrylic sealer I just buy one from um, from the hardware store here in Australia just from Bunnings just any old acrylic spray sealer that they've got there it brings the colour up really nicely and also just protects the cover a little bit and um, I think it's worth doing and you can you can get it in a matte or a gloss or a, I went with a semi gloss I think that's for the person who can't decide what they want <laughs> I'll have the medium please <laughs> I want more than a small but not necessarily a large <laughs> So, and I think that's what semi-gloss is like. I don't want it really glossy, but I don't want it really matte. Anyway, clearly I haven't had enough sleep. <laughs> okay, so there's my front and my back cover, and then we'll just pop those to the side for a second while we glue these two together. So I've got two of my um, spine pieces. And I'm going to put them so that you can, so this is where I started and stopped my stitching. And on here, I can't even see it, I did such, oh, it's here. So I'm going to put those two edges on the same side and that'll probably be my back. But what I'm going to do is on the inside, the bit that I haven't inked up, in between those two score lines, I'm going to put some glue. Right, so that's the furthest score line on each side. And I'm going to use this Art Glitter Glue, which I've only just started using in the last couple of months. And I do like it, great. Works really well. The only thing I'd say is, man, it dries quick. You don't have a lot of time to wiggle things into place, so let's hope that I can get this right. But we don't want our spine to fall apart. So I'll just put that in there. Might as well leave that off. Okay, so that's that back piece now. I've lost it in this piece. So I'm just going to line it up. And and I'm happy with that, I'll give it a good press. So this um, expandable type of um, spine is my new favourite. <laughs> I, I think I've used it on so many things lately. And um, yeah, I just love it. I love the soft spine. Love it. Okay, let's get the glue off there. I'm going to make sure that's really well adhered. Get the glue off the top. And off here. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now I can open up both of those and I'm going to... So this is going to be my back. Which way do I want to put it? That way? 
them that way. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so if I do this, this is my front then. So I'm going to put some glue on here. And my, I'm going around this edge here where my stitching is just to make sure that that really adheres down. So if you haven't stitched it, you probably don't need to be quite so precise. Just going to butt this up against that score line that where we've glued it together and it looks like it's a tiny wee bit bigger than um, than my spine and that is my own fault because I actually cut my spine my cover out by hand so I I cut my cover out just on manila um, paper on my piece of manila folder and traced around it so I've made it just a squidgy little bit big, but I can live with that. The reason I did that was because I was thinking that I would cut it out of chipboard and I hate putting chipboard in my Cricut um, because you have to move, all, you have to tape it down to the mat and all that sort of stuff and it's just a rectangle. I can do that by hand, but that's why it's a little, just sticks out over the edge a little bit, but I can live with it. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue on this bit. All the way down around my stitching. Press that down. Make sure it's stuck down around that stitching. I'll tell you what, this art glitter glue is really strong. That's my front cover. I'm going to spin it around and do my back cover like this. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing here. And that's our cover done. Okay, I'll pop that in there. I'm, trying, I'm going to try and line it up at least with the with the front. Looks about right. I mean, I know it's poking off the edge, but I feel like nobody else would know. I mean, if they wanted to to be that picky, then they don't understand about the beauty of handmade, do they? and then pop that one over press that one down just wipe off my gluey mess there and there's my cover so that's the inside the inside looks good Happy with that? Now I might just wait for that to dry a little bit before I um, fold it. I'll give it a little minute to set up. Um, but I will tell you what my next step is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. On here, there's this blue strip here and it's got three little dots on there. Um, I've included that as a kind of a template for the pages. If you're going to put the pages in the same way as me, um, then you, I've included that as a little template for putting the holes in. But I didn't put the holes in the pages or in the spine, in the cover, because, you know, I want you to be able to um, make your own choices about how you want to put this in. But essentially what I'm going to do is mark out my holes. So I'm just, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is find the centre so I can line up that centre hole along there. So I use centimetres. In centimetres it's 23, so 
there's my centre. Um, how long is it in inches? It's just over nine inches, so yeah, it's about four and a half inches for the centre. Okay. So there's my little centre mark. So then I can I'm going to line this up along this score line here. And I'm just going to make sure that my center is in the center of my hole. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to mark the holes. Now I'm, I'm actually only using two holes. I included the third hole so you could find the center point, but also you might want to use three. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to mark that here and here. Okay, so that's where I'm going to join my um, pages but um, so now I'll, I will go away and um, I'll cut that out if you've got one of those big crocodiles you could use that what I use is a, a hammer <laughs> and an eyelet setter but you don't have to even do that if you don't want to what color should I use silver um, brass I'm not sure I'm just having a little look in there but what I use is it comes with my eyelets and I just buy this from, um, if you're in Australia, from Spotlight. So you get your eyelets and it comes with these in the pack. So this one here is the hole cutter. So you just put this over your hole where you're going to put your eyelet and then bang it with a hammer and um, it'll cut that hole out for you. So I usually do it on... Um, a piece of um, concrete something like that and then when you set your eyelet you use this one here which has got a sort of a different head on it and you put your eyelet in and then you push it put this on top of your eyelet and then you bang it with a hammer and that's how it comes together so that's how I'll do it but I'm not going to do it now because it is very early in the morning I don't want to wake up the whole family um, well three dogs in my other half let me show you what I've done. This is um, sort of my prototype and I made it like a junk journal, not like an expandable recipe folder. But um, you can see here on the back is the, how I set the eyelets. And then my pages are just held in with this piece of um, sari ribbon. Yeah, so that's holding all my pages in. So that's what we're going to do. But then I've just made this um, as a... Um, as a junk journal rather than as a recipe file so you know you've got options but I'm just going to show you how to do it as a recipe file today and but you know you can see that this is all the pages are held in they're all loose leaf pages and I've just threaded them onto here which is great because you can add in things and you can take away things and it opens up really nice and flat and full like that and no sewing <laughs> And we're all good. We're all keen on that, I think. So here's one of those um, pocket pages. I just haven't put anything in there yet. Haven't quite finished this one. You know, it's 90% done. <laughs> but anyway, it's kind of cute. This is my new fun thing of um, using up my scrap pieces. Um, I quite like that. Although you end up with glitter everywhere. But then you can just put it on here, and this can just be a little um, tuck spot. Getting totally sidetracked, aren't I? There we go. Anyway, um, I can do a flip through of that later, but I just wanted to show you that that's what I'm going to do with my eyelets. But I won't do it right now because, as I say, I will wake everybody up with ha um, bashing with the hammer. And I put some little corners on there, and I think that might I might do the same with this one because, you know, as a recipe um, folder, it probably will get banged around a little bit. So anyway, that's that one. So I've marked out my holes and when um, the rest of the world wakes up, I'll put some eyelets in there, but that is our cover. And that's, we've got quite a lot of nice expandable room to put some pages in there. So let's do some pages. Okay. So we have four pages to choose from. Um, let me show you, I've cut some out already. I've made some already and then we're going to make some together. So this base page one has got no tag on it. So it would just be a page that you would put in anywhere. Base page two has got a tab on the top. Base page three has got a tab in the middle. 
and base page 4 has got a tab down the bottom. These all have score lines in them so you do need to remember to attach those. And then we're just going to, so I've cut out a variety of these base pages and then I have cut out some pockets and belly bands and some envelopes and the insert pocket page and some waterfall flips and a bottom pocket, some bottom pockets. So I th we'll just go through and put some pieces together, shall we? So I've already cut out some pages and I've cut out some mats and we can just put them all together. So these are some that I've already cut out. I'll show you those a bit later, but let's let's go ahead and do some pages. So um, where was I going to start? I had a plan. I think this was the first page I was going to do. So um, this is just, but this is base page one. Let me show you. This is base page one, and it has got. Is this the one I was going to do first? Well, it is now. <laughs> I had an order that I was going to do them in, but you know, never mind. This is base page one. It's got a score line down here, and that just helps us to um, put it in the book and to make it easy to flip over. And I've, um, I've cut out the, the long skinny mat here, and I've already attached it because I was a bit worried that it was going to fly away. And then on the back, I have already attached the mats just to make it easier. So on this page, I was going to, um, what have we got here? We've got a long pocket and then, okay. So for this page, I feel like um, I've cut out two of these long pockets here for the front side of this. And that's these two here. So I'm just using white cardstock and I've folded the score line down the side of each one but there are tabs on the top and we are going to cut those tabs off because I'm going to make this like a door. So this would be if you've got, um, if you're using this as a recipe folder, this would be the sort of thing you might do if you had a really fancy recipe that you wanted to, you know, pop behind there. So we need to cut these off. I think I'll get out my, my paper trimmer. I'm just going to trim those off on both of them. There's a score line there, so I'm just trying to line up the score line, but I can't see it very well. Maybe I should just cut it with my scissors. Oh dear, it's really hard to see the score line in this light. I think we did okay. Alright, let's just put this back. And I'll be brave and use my scissors. I'm just to hold it under the light a bit. But then the shadow from my scissors is getting in the way. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same thing on here. Probably could have held them together and done them at the same time, but that would be sensible. Okay, and then on this side of my base page, I'm just going to attach these to the sides. So, let's put, fold over that tab, put some glue down there. I'm going to use my art glitter glue for this. And then I'm just going to line up this one here along my edge. So all of these pieces, these pockets and belly bands and things, can go on any of the base pages. Um, you know, it doesn't have to just go on this one. So we've got one door there, and then I'm going to put some glue on this tab. I fold that one back over, give it a good burnish, and I'm going to put some glue on this one here. And then I'm going to line them up along here. 
try to and then pop that down get the tab to tuck underneath and then my doors at least are lined up and you can see where I have cut with the scissors and the, they're not quite as perfect as I would like them to be but never mind you can always see they're hanging over the edge a little bit that's okay. This is because I've cut them with my scissors and I've got no decent light. But I'm just going to trim that across there. There's always a fix. Okay, there we go. Better. Then we're going to put some mats on the front of that. So that's these long pockets. I've just cut two of those mats. You actually need four because you'll want two for this side and two for this side but I um, have only cut two out at this stage so I'll have to go back and cut some more out. I'm just going to give that a burnish and then we can put these little guys on. Which way do I want them? They sort of match up at some, some way I think. Like that. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Or is it like that? Does it even matter? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, so I'll just put some glue on here. See how I went. Looks okay. A little press. Like so. And the same on this side. I like this denim print and the wood look together. I think that's really nifty. And um, I feel like these sort of wood style papers could work with anything. They don't necessarily look um, really um, like a red, you know, like kitchen style paper, but the, all the embellishments in the kit definitely will lend to making a recipe book. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so I'm just going to lay that one down. So I'm looking forward to, to doing a bit of embellishing. And there's our little doors. And then I cut a mat out to go in the centre. So, and I, if I had mats cut, I would put them on the doors, obviously, but not quite that clever, am I? Lost one. God only knows where it's gone. I was going to do that on camera, but I don't think I will. So I cut all the pieces out for this a few days ago, um, and they've been sitting on my desk. And I had planned on doing the recording, but then, you know, life gets in the way. Yep, that's fine. Okay, fold that one over. And we've got two little doors. So what I have done is, I did have two of these, but one of them's gone missing. So I can cut one out now. I was trying to be organised, but I've lost it. Alright, so I just cut out a bit of cardstock. Let's see what I've got here. A little bit of scrap somewhere. Okay, here we go. And that looks like the bit that I cut it from. And 
And then I need my cake punch. I hate being this disorganised. I usually try to have everything very organised. So I've got the, I think this is half an inch. It's definitely not um, an inch. The inch one, the inch punch is much, much bigger. And then I've cut out one of these as well. So this is my inch circle punch and so I think that must be a half. One there. And then I'm just going to glue these all together. That one. And that one. And this one. I'm trying to be quick. Give it a good press. And then I put this little pattern piece on top. There is something on my desk that every time I touch my desk it's rattling. I'm not sure what it is. Alright, just give that one a little press on top. And then I've obviously inked around this one, so I've got to do the same with this one. What is it that's rattling? really annoying okay and then I have punched a hole in the middle so I'm just going to line this one up because this one looks pretty good and move my coffee cup sorry about this quickly stick a hole in here and then we'll be back on track okay so this is just a leather punch and it's got lots of different little um, sizes. Um, I used to do a little bit of sewing with leather so it was quite handy for that. Okay so then I'm just going to put these guys, one on here and one on here. I'm going to find the centre because I can't not. It's not in my, it's not in my nature to not find the centre so the centre is about here and then I'm going to put one so the centre is about here we need to bring it back over there though like that, maybe like that that'll be good so I'm going to put a hole there Oop. and a hole there and then I will well I can use my little punch again can't I or you could use an awl. I've got to find my, got to find my marks. Looks like it's there. And then this one here. So you could use any kind of closure that you wanted for this, or none. I mean, you could use magnets if you wanted to. Okay, and then we need some. Eyelet, not eyelets, brads. Maybe I'll just go with silver. Silver brads. No, they're big ones. We need smaller ones. Silver brads. There we go. I just need two of those. We're just going to poke one in this side and pop it through that hole. And, whoops! See, I'm trying to be quick and I'm just taking more time. I didn't want this to be a really long video, but I feel like it's going to be. Right, like so. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to thread a little bit of cord through it. So I've got some hemp cord here. I'll use that piece, shall I? <laughs> so I'm going to poke that through there. And I'm just going to stick it down. Of course, we're going to cover up this back side with a mat. If we had one pre-cut, which we don't. Um, where's my tape? I had it clean out over 
the break and um, now I can't find anything. I literally can't find anything. So I'm just going to stick that down there and that'll get covered up. And then we can just stick this through here. And stick it through the same hole. Put my little brad feet down. I might make that a little bit shorter, but I can do that later. So now, if I had mats for the back, if I'd cut mats for the back, I would pop them on there and we wouldn't see any of that. But never mind, I'll do that off camera. So then we can just close this up like this and that could be a great little spot for your secret recipe or your best recipe and, you know, favourite. So that's one page. And then on the back, let's get rid of some stuff, Katie. On the back, what was my plan? Who knows? I thought I had some stuff. Oh, I think I was going to put a pocket on there. So I've got another one of the long pockets. So it's just this long pocket again. I'm really making a squidgy mess of this everywhere. Get this out of the way. Okay, so I've cut out another one of the long pockets and I'm just going to pop that on the back. So I'm going to put it along this side here. So I'm just going to fold that over. I've already attached the mat and then I cut a notch out using a punch just because I like that sort of notched effect. So all we need to do is put some glue on these tabs and glue it on. These are just some ideas of, you know, what you can use each of the pieces for. So this is just a regular pocket, but on the front we, we use the same piece for doors. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down like so. And that's one page done. Cute, hey? Alright, so I can pop that one to the side. Oops. We can do another quick one. Um, what have we got here? Where's the page that I was going to start with? I think this must be one of the ones I was going to start with. I don't know. Let's just keep going. I might have to break this video into two, pieces, two parts. But I'm sorry about that. So on this page, we're just going to... I'm going to quickly attach the mats to the front and back. And then we're going to pop some pockets on. Alright, so I'll just quickly do this bit. Okay, I'm back and I have just gone ahead and put the mats for this page on here. So the mat, I'm using base page two here. So I've got that top tab. I have got a little mat there that I can put on there, but I'm not going to do that until I've decided what section this might be. So the idea is that I can divide all my recipes into sections. So this might be, you know, chicken or vegetables or desserts or something like that. So I'm, I will do that later once I've decided what I want them to be. The mats for each of these base pages are exactly the same. Um, so, but this is base, base page two with the tab up the top. I've put the mats on both sides. And then on this front side, I have cut out one of the long belly bands here. So this belly band here. Um, I've cut it out of the white cardstock and then I've just put a piece of, um, I've cut the mat out of that pink um, and attached it onto here. So then all I need to do is stick it on. So I'll get my glue. Sounds like there's some people up around here now. I can hear dogs and doors and things. So might be just about time for breakfast. And I think I want to try and work out where the center is. So if I just bend that over, that might help me to work. I'm just going to do it roughly, which I, is not in my nature at all. And just put it there. And there. That's about right, I think. Oh. 
I don't know. It is, it's there now. Once we put something behind it, it'll be great. It will be. <laughs> so then on the back of this page, I've cut out two pockets. So I've cut out two of the bottom pockets um, out of the white cardstock. So that blue piece I've cut out of white cardstock. And then I've cut out two mats. There's one of them. And then I've already done this one. So I've just cut a notch out of here and I have attached my mat to here already. So let's get out my little notch making tool. Um, I've got this punch that has a notch section in it. And I've just drawn a line down the center here. That's where I'm going to match up my notch. And I'm just going to work out where I want my mat to go. So that it's even both sides and I just I need to do it this way pop it in there line up that notch in the middle and snap it out and then I can just attach my mat to that pocket Oop. You don't need to put the notch in there. I just thought I would. I quite like my notch. And I'm just going to line my mat up on there. Press it down. And then I'm going to attach these to my page. Right, sorry about that. Just um, got interrupted there. But um, so my other half is up now. Um, but he did bring me a cup of coffee, so I'm not complaining. So anyway, I've got my two pockets and I've just folded over the tabs and glued them on the corners to make it easier to put them down. And then I'm just going to pop them on the back of this page. Nice and easy. So again, um, you don't have to put pockets on every page. You can put them in any combination you like. You don't have to do lots of pages. You can just do a few. It, you know, it's completely up to you. So I'm just going to pop some pockets on here. And this one. Put some glue on those tabs. And then I think I'll put this one about here. Yeah. Okay, so that's one more page done. So I've got a belly band here and on the back we've got a couple of pockets. And so we'll put that one aside and then we've got another page here. So, or maybe I should do this page next because this is base page three. So this is base page three. Let me pull this off. And I've already, base page three has got the tab in the middle. So that's this one here with the tab in the middle. And I've already attached the mats to both sides. And um, on this side, I've put another one of the pockets like we put on here, but I've just put a single pocket. So that's bottom, this bottom pocket here on there. And then on this side, I'm going to put a waterfall. So I have cut out three of waterfall flip one and three of waterfall flip two. They're actually the same. I've just reversed them for you. So, um, you know, you could cut six of waterfall flip one or six of waterfall flip two. It doesn't matter, but I've just included them both for you. And then I have already started putting them together to save a bit of time. So what I've done is I've got a piece of scrap card stock here and I've started attaching each of my waterfall pieces. So I'm not going to put mats on them because I want to write my recipes on here. But I have put little mats on this little strip here. So that is this tiny little skinny strip here on these two. I've already cut those out and attached them to save a bit of time. And I have put four of these on. So we'll just do the last two together. So um, 
I, and I've been alternating the tabs so I can write on here what the recipe is or whatever it is that you're storing in here. I mean, it doesn't have to be recipes. And then with the piece, the side with the, um, with the mat already attached, I'm just going to glue it onto here, making sure that I've got the next one coming down the ways. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on here. Oh, excuse me, croaky. And then I'm going to line this one up right on the edge of this one here like this, as close as I can get it. I'm just going to flip it over and make sure that it's lined up pretty well. And then, oops, it's not very good, is it? Like that. And then give it a press. And then this is going, I'm only doing six on this page. I think you can get much more than six on. But for the top one, I have put a mat on top on that side. And then on this side, I have put this um, skinny little mat there. And that's just so that, um, you know, I can do a little bit of embellishing on there. But you could just as easily write your recipe straight on there too. Completely up to you. So then I'm just going to put a bit of glue on here. And line this one up like so oops flip it over make sure that it's lined up on the edges that'll do give it a good press okay happy with that and I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to trim this bit off the top. Oops. Fold it over a little. <coughs> Excuse me. Super croaky this morning. I'm going to just trim it across the top like that. And then my mat's coming off a bit there. Put a little bit of glue under there. Better. And then on the front of this page, I'm going to attach my waterfall and I'm not going to put any kind of closure because I think that it, in, over time it'll be fine. So I think it's going to go about like that. I, might, I could put it higher and you can see I could get, I could get at least three or four more um, waterfalls on there, but we'll just go with this for now. So then I'm going to put glue over this whole section here where my piece of scrap cardstock was. And then I'm just going to go across these edges here. Like so. And then I'm just going to attempt to line it up on the page. Like about there. How's that? I think that's good. Give it a press and then I'm just going to go along and press each one of those out as well. Like so. And the last one. And that is our waterfall page. And then we'll just give it a burnish. But once the other pages are sitting on top of this, it'll really help to flatten that down. So I'll just pop it under this one. So we've got two tabs. So we've got one more tab to go. So this is my third tab page. So this is actually base page four. Exactly the same. I have already attached my mats. And I have cut out two of these envelopes here so the pink piece on top is a mat so if you wanted to do an envelope liner you absolutely could but I'm not I've just cut out the blue um, envelope piece underneath and I've just cut this out of copy weight paper because you know envelopes aren't very um, thick ever are they so that's what my envelope looks like um, I've just folded on all the score lines so all I need to do is just close it up uh, so I'll just pop a little bit of glue along the edge here. 
and along here and fold them over and close it up and and we have an envelope and then I have two envelopes and I'm going to attach these to the front of my base page four so I'm just going to sort of roughly figure out where I'm going to put them first make sure that I've got room for them both on here so I think it needs to come down oops so basically as close to the bottom as we can get I might use I'll use the I'll use this one and I'm just going to glue my envelope onto my page now you could just make some envelopes and stick them in some pockets uh, you, you know you could do anything you like you could um, attach them using washi and make them a little flip but I'm just going to stick it straight down on my page and I'll try to even center it a little bit if possible like that oops good press And then I'm going to just do the same with this one. This is a, a really easy project. There's nothing to it, but um, you know it is hopefully pretty useful. And is you know it's nice to have an easy project and versatile. I like to think. So then I'm going to line this one up along here. Bring that down a little bit. I have not lined it up very well. Just press that one down there like so. So then I have two envelopes on my page and in um, the SVG files there are two index cards. Now they're again exactly the same. I've just reversed them for you so you know you can cut them out easily. So um, these envelopes will fit those index cards in here, like so. So you can get a stash of little um, index cards in here if that's what you like. So that is the next page. And then on the back of this page, I've just put another one of those long pockets. So I'm thinking these long pockets are really good for, you know, if you tear a recipe out of a magazine or something, you know, you don't want to write it on a card or you haven't had time to you can just stash it in there the same with the envelopes you could put the index cards in there or you could just stash a little index card um, you know one of the lined ones that you can buy you can just stash it in there so there's another page and then we have our last page here so we've already done this one as well so I'll pop that one over there so our last page, I have cut out another one of base page one and I have already put the mats on it um, on the back. So we're going to put a pocket on the back and then on the front I've left it plain because I've cut out one of these pages here, the insert pocket page. That's this one here so it's got the holes in it for putting the index cards in. And then I've cut out the mat out of the pink piece on top and I have actually already attached it here so to save a bit of time so now all we need to do is attach this to this page so um, this is the page and we're going to attach it to here and so that we have the little pockets so to do that we need to put glue all the way around the edge to seal it down all the way down the bottom here, keeping it really close to this edge here. All the way down the side. And across the top. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. So we have got glue here to stop the envelope, um, the index card falling out of this pocket. And then if we put some glue along the top of this pocket here, it'll stop the card that goes in this pocket from falling all the way down. So we're going to put a bit of glue really close to the edge of that pocket up the top like that. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Like so. 
and then up the top here we're going to do the same thing but this is the top and we don't want our cards getting stuck in that top section so we're also going to put some glue all the way across there so that's how it's going to go so we've put a bead of glue across the top of this pocket across the top of this pocket and then filled that whole section in there and then we'll just flip it over get glue all over our hands I'm just going to line this up along the edge of my page here. I'm going to try to work quickly because the glue likes to work quickly. Okay, and then when we're happy with that, I can see a bit of glue oozing through there. Maybe through there. Pretty happy with that. I and mean, if it's not lined up perfectly, oh, quirky throat again. <coughs> You can always trim it off. I'm just going to wipe up all that glue that's come out. So then we've got glue along there, glue down the side here. Got glue along the top here, glue along the top here, and glue along the top all the way through there. Okay, so then let's see, did I get, I've got a bit of glue oozing through there. Alright, so then we should be able to put um, a card in here, or more than one, cards in here, and I'll get my hand in there, cards in there. And that is um, the insert pocket page. So then on the back of this page, I've already put the mats on, and this time I've cut out a corner pocket. So that's this corner pocket here, but you'll see that mine is going the other way. So when I cut it out, I flipped it over. So it would have cut out this way, but I flipped it over or mirrored it so that um, I can have my pocket facing the other way. So I've cut my, my corner pocket, the blue bit on here out of white cardstock, and then the pink piece is my mat that I've put on top. I'll just put some glue on my tab tabs which I've already stuck them together at the bottom I just find it makes it much easier to line them up and I'm just going to fold this one over so I can sort of work on the edge and I'll put a little corner pocket on there okay like so and that's our final page so now we come back with this little guy here and we're going to draw some holes. So I'm going to line this up, fits really nicely on this um, section down here. So I'm just going to line this up on here. Make sure it's lined up. And then I'm just going to draw my holes in here. I'm not using the center hole, I'm using the, only the top and the bottom. And then I just have the standard office hole punch and I'm just going to line that up on here and cut out a hole. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all the rest of these pages that we've just done together and then I'll be back and we'll put them all in our cover. Alright, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back and of those quick pages that we made today, I have now put my holes in. I used my little template to put holes in the top and the bottom. I didn't use the middle hole. So these are the pages that we've already made today, all ready to go in. And then I just wanted to show you that I have already made a bunch more pages. So I've got another three tabs and then I've got lots of other pages. So I've got corner pockets, the bottom pocket here, and this is another one of the envelopes, but I made it, a, I shrunk it a little bit and I just stuck it in there. And then there's another one of our insert pages and I've put an insert page on the back of that one as well. Here's another belly band, another insert, couple of insert pages corner pocket, side pocket, that middle tab, two more pockets, um, some more of the index cards in the insert page, another bottom pocket, 
Here's another one of those waterfalls and you can see this one sitting nice and flat because it's been sitting there with some other pages on top for a while. Two more insert pages, another bottom pocket, another side pocket and that um, third tab page, another long pocket, another insert page, another bottom pocket. Here's another page with the envelopes on it and then two more insert pages and as you can see here I've got two index cards in each one of these and I think you could possibly even get more and then on the back of that one is a corner pocket there so I've got all of these pages that can go in and the beauty about these is they're loose leaf so you can you could start with just a few pages and then every time you've got a few more recipes you could um, put you know just make another page up and pop it in there so there's one of my pages and then there's one other thing I wanted to show you is I've made up this booklet and this booklet is just um, a standard size piece of copy paper you could probably use letter I don't know if you need to trim it a little bit um, but this is A4 and I've just folded it in half and then inside so I just used all my scrap pages and made this little cover because with the glitter on it because I don't know it's my thing at the minute and inside here I have just put in some copy paper to make a little booklet up like this um, there's quite a few pages in there I think there might be 10 and then I'll just pop them in here like this and then I have again used my little um, template and lined it up along the edge there and marked out the holes and put some holes in there and now I have this little booklet that I can also put in here and I could put as many in here as I wanted to or that could fit um, and it just becomes like another page so let's um, then get our giant stack of pages together and get out our cover so in one of the breaks I have gone ahead and put my eyelets in here with my hammer once everybody was awake and then I have got this really thick um, kind of a needle thing it was my grandmother's and it's got this thing on the top and I have no idea what she used it for but I'm using it to thread through all my pages and my cover so this is a piece of sari um, ribbon and I'm just going to use this to bind them all together so what I'll try to do is line them up I don't know maybe I'll just poke them through like this make sure I get each page like this and my booklet I'll just pull that through a little bit and then these ones you don't need the um, funny needle that I've got here that I've no idea what it is actually used for <laughs> but I have it <laughs> if not I would just poke them through just I go through all my pages whoops and it just came off my my needle luckily it's got a giant hole in it so that's good and then I'm going to go through this hole here if my oh look, my needle doesn't fit through there there you go <laughs> so then I'm just going to poke this through here and try and pull it out the other side I'm trying might need my awl to poke it through there we go now my bit of sari is way too long for this but I have this habit of cutting it too short so I thought it'd be better to make it too long rather than too short so you can see how long it is. I need to pull it through a bit more and then I'm going to bring it up through the other side I'll just do that. nearly I need to pull this through a bit more I 
There we go. Up through here. Okay, and then I'm going to put this needle back on to go through the oops to go through the um, pages and then I need to thread all my pages back on so I'm going to make sure that I get them all pull it through I always manage to miss a few, which is highly annoying. So let's hope I get them all this time. Pull them through. I think you could just get so many recipes in here. Through my booklet, through there. Oops. And pull it through. Come on. There we go. Tough. All right, let's turn that around and see if I manage to get them all. Looks like it. So then we just need to neaten my pages up in the book. Then how much I'll pull my needle off and I can put the back through a little bit like that. Tie it up. And trim it off. I've probably still got too much. But I have a fear of never of not having enough, so you know how that is. Tie it up. And neaten the pages up a little bit. And there it is. So I would be tempted to cut a pocket or something to go on the front cover and maybe even a pocket to go on the back cover. But I have already got stacks of room in here, so let's have a little flick through. So this is holding all my pages in. Um, I can do some embellishing on the front. I've got this expandable um, spine, so I can still get more in there. And then on the back, it looks like this. It's just got those two eyelets and that bit of sari there. And when we open it up, I've, so I've got six um, sections here and I've got pockets and here's my booklet so I can write recipes directly into this booklet and I could have this booklet um, I can pull it out and write in it if I want to and I could put more of these in each section if I wanted to so I can I've got masses of room to write recipes in there then I've got my index cards more index cards, a belly band. You see the pages sit open nice and flat. I can easily pull my recipe out and look at it. I don't have to keep it in the book. I can add in more pages or take more pages out. I can add in more sections if I need to. I can put inserts in here. I could put little file folders or I could just slip a recipe straight in there. So I just need to do a little bit of embellishing um, and I can stick a whole pile of recipes in here, like so. So I just need to do a little bit of embellishing and my little booklet is done. Look how much space I've got. Masses of space to keep things in. So I'm going to go away and... Um, Oh, there's one I missed. There's two I missed. <laughs> I'll have to go back and fix that up. Um, I'm going to go away and um, do some embellishing, maybe 
put some file folders in some pockets things like that and get this ready and I will do a flip through video once I'm all finished so this is my expandable recipe folder um, it's a set of SVG files you can pick up from my Etsy store but maybe it just gave you a bit of inspiration and that's great too so thanks very much for watching I'll uh, see you guys again soon bye for now bye